How to create stickers on Canva to sell on Etsy. Today I'm creating the sticker on Canva to sell on Etsy. Make sure to watch until the end so you don't make any mistakes. Okay, so the very first step is to go to canva.com. As you can see, I'm already logged into my account, but if you're new to Canva, first you obviously need to create an account with your Google account or email, and I promise you it literally takes seconds to do so. Um, the elements that I'll be showing you in this video won't require it, but I definitely also suggest you try out the 30-day free trial that Canva offers to everyone if you already haven't tried it out. Now, once you're set and logged into your account, you will first need to click on create a design on the top bar, and then you're gonna click on custom size. The first thing you need to do here on the pop-up is to change the unit from pixels to inches. Then I'm gonna be using 10 by 10 as my measurements, and I suggest you also go with the same measurements as I just showed you here. Once your measurements are in, you're gonna click on create new design. And this brought us to the Canva editor page. As you can see, we have this black canvas and now we can start to create our sticker. If you're new to Canva, you'll see uh, various tabs on the left-hand side. The main ones that we'll use for this video will be the elements and the text tabs. Uh, we'll be using a combination of both text and elements to create our stickers. First, we'll start off with thinking of an idea you have in mind and go to elements and just type it into your search bar. For this tutorial, I'll personally be going for a heart team and I'll start my search with that. So I'm just coming here and I'm searching for a heart. Then what you want to do is you want to go to the graphic section over here. Here you'll see multiple options you can choose from. And one important thing, uh, you will notice that some graphics over here will have this crown icon just underneath it. This means that um, this is only available for Canva Pro users, but don't worry because a lot of these graphics over here will be uh, completely free. So just take your time, have a look at it and pick one of the free options for your sticker. Here is, for example, a great free heart graphic I found and I think I'm gonna use for my sticker. So I'm clicking on that. Let's now make it bigger to fit our canvas. Now we will add some eyes and and other type of elements to this heart graphic over here. So one important thing, you can't just select one element and call it done. You really need to combine different elements for it to be counted as an original sticker for you to sell. So for that reason, I'm again uh, going to my search bar and I'm gonna type in eyes. Here again, I'm gonna take my time to find a free option that I like and I think I can use. So for instance, this is a quite good graphic that I can very well use, but one cool thing about Canva is once you select one of the graphics over here, it will come up with uh, something called magic recommendations. And when you click on see all, you'll see similar graphics. So again, you can have a look uh, to the recommended graphics or stick with the one that you just chose. For me, I think I like this one better, so I'm clicking on that. I'm deleting this one over here and I'll make it fit to my heart. Also, a lot of these graphics, uh, you'll be able to customize them a little bit. So for example, you can change the color. For instance, I think uh, the for the blush section, I'm gonna go with a pinkish one so it goes better with my overall theme. Now that I kind of uh, added a face to my heart, I am uh, gonna add some text. So to do that, I am going to the text tab over here. And here basically uh, you have two options. So here you will see default textiles. And when you, for example, click on add a heading, add a subheading or add a body text, what will happen is it will give you this box. You can edit the text and then go to the font 
uh, section over here to find a font that you like. But what I'll do for this example, and what I also suggest you do for stickers, is to pick one of the font combinations over here. So these are pre-designed combinations and are fully customizable. They're super cool, so take your time and select one that you like. Here, I like this font combination, which I think could go quite well with my team. So I'm clicking on that. It will appear in the middle of my page. Now I am gonna be editing the text. So I'm gonna say, good job just like that. And now I want to separate these two. But before I do that, I want this to be grouped. So if you remember, these are two separate elements. By selecting both and clicking on group, you can make this a single element so it doesn't bother you while you're working on other parts of your design. So here I am going to click on this ungroup section. So it will separate these two texts over here. Now I'm moving this section to the top corner and this one over here. Now I can further customize it. For example, I can change the color by clicking on text color and going to the available options. One cool thing you can do is you can click on this plus icon and kind of play around with um, different tones and select the one that you like the best. Another thing you can do is to play around with effects. So when you click on your text and go to the effects tab, what you will see is uh, you'll see a bunch of different styles you can choose from. So um, this phone kind of looks like this without any style applied to it. And if I, for example, click on shadow, it will add a shadow effect. If I select lift, it will lift my heading and so on and so forth. So take your time, play around with the effects and choose the one that you like the most. So as you can see here, I kind of changed my style and the color a bit and I've added my effect and now I'm happy with how my sticker overall looks like. One thing that I want to show you though, which I didn't use, is to play around with the curve. So what you can do is um, by the end of your effects, you'll see this curve section. Um, what you can do is you can basically play around with the curve of your of your text, which could be quite fun to use in your stickers. But for now, I'm just going to set that on none and leave it as that. So now that I'm happy with the overall look and feel of my sticker, I'll change the background for better contrast. So for that, I am going to basically click on my background and then go to background color over here. And here you can basically select any color you like. This will help us see our design better. Okay, I changed my background color and I am basically done with designing my sticker. I've also added the background. Now what we need to do is to remove the background to be able to sell the sticker on Etsy. So unfortunately, Canvas Free version doesn't allow transparent backgrounds, but I will show you a free way to do this. So. First, we're going to download this as a PNG. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to click on share over here and you're going to go to download here. Um, this is also the suggested file type. You're going to select PNG and click on download. As you can see, I have a Canva Pro over here, so I can uh, download this as a transparent background. So in that case, I won't need to do anything extra. But um, for those of you who do not have Canva Pro, just uh, download it as a regular PNG. So now we're going to go to this website over here, which is photopia.com over here. And what you want to do right now is to go to this file section, which will be on the top left corner of your page. You're going to click on new. And here, what you're going to do is, again, just like we did in Canva, change this from pixels to inches, set it on 10. The height should also be 10. And for the DPI, we're going to say 300. So after you make these adjustments, you're going to click on create. So now what you're going to do is you're going to drag your um, sticker that you downloaded as a PNG from Canva to over here. So now I am going to this magic phone tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my background and delete it. So to do that, I'm going to right click on the layer and select this option over here. Remove BG, meaning background. So I'm going to be clicking on that. 
So now my background is removed, so make sure to delete any remaining backgrounds if there is like any bits here and there inside the text or graphic. For me, it's pretty clean. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to this background over here and I'm going to click on this eye icon. So to give my um, seeker a more professional look, what I'm going to do is add a white border to it. So to do that, I am going to my um, seeker over here. I'm going to do a right click on it and then I am going to select blending options over here. So now I'm going to go to stroke over here. I'm going to move this around here so I can see the, the border as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to click on the color over here, which is currently in black, and I'm going to change this to white. So once that's done, I am going to click on OK. Here, I'll go to the size and, and adjust the size to my liking. So for example, I feel like this is a good amount that I can go with. So it gives like a really professional look to my, my sticker. So once I'm happy with it, I'm going to click on OK. Then um, our sticker is basically done. It looks super, super cool. So all we have to do now is to download this as a PNG. So to do that, I am going again on the file section. I am going to go to export as and I'm going to select PNG. Here we can have a preview of our sticker. It looks super nice. So you can rename this to sticker and you can click on save. So I came back to my Canva editor page here. What I'll do is I'll add a page just like that. I'll go to the upload section and by clicking on uploads file and selecting my sticker that is already transparent, I'm going to click on open. It will be available over here and once I click on it, you'll see that it is completely um, transparent and there is no background to it. So one thing that I want to show you is how you can create a mock-up for the sticker. So um, to do that, I am going to be going to the apps tab over here and there's a really popular app called mock-ups and canva we're going to be using that today it will be this one right here it is completely free it's super convenient super easy i'm in the print section i'm going to click on see all and here we'll see a bunch of options that we can choose from for example this one is a sticker that we can use and this one also is quite suitable for our theme so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select one of these so for example this one I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to take my sticker and place it into the mock-up. So as you can see, what this did is it basically put that inside uh, the frame and it really does look like a really nice um, sticker. So I think I'm going to be covering uh, my entire background with this mock-up. I think it's great like this and leave it as that. Uh, here I'm going to add another page to show you what else you can do. Again, um, I suggest you stick to print. For example, you can select something like this so this will just act as a frame eventually meaning you'll keep your background and you can go to the upload section take your sticker and put it like that so these are the two options you can go with and there you have it that's how you can create stickers on canva to sell on etsy